mess up. This might be my favorite one before even trying it. This is the one all my hopes are hidden by. What's up guys? I'm to the fly. This is the fly show. Before we get started, test tasting the new Snickers. First of the news. Today, Lisa Friedman and Jobs talks to the Telegraph about her memoirs, Small Fry, which comes out September 4th. She reveals the time her father, she reveals how her father told her, her father Steve Jobs, by the way. I kind of buried the lead on that one. But I figured you knew that already. Told her on his deathbed, after, well, after hugging her, that she smelled like a toilet. And then as a teenager, telling her that she's not getting anything. Actually, the quote was, you're getting nothing. Well, also, she also recounts the story of when she asked him, was the Lisa Macintosh, the Fell computer that he first came out with, named after her? He told her no, but while they were at Bono's villa together, they told, he told Bono when he asked, yes, leading her to go, do you love me? Maybe not. I don't know. Whatever. But that's not why you're here. You're here for Snickers. Fiery. Fiery. Sweet and salty. And espresso. This might be my favorite one before even trying it. This is the one all my hopes are hidden by. I can tell you right now if I'm going to like it. Because when I look back here, if it says espresso beans are inside, I might be happy. There are no espresso beans in this. I, I, I don't know what to say. Like, I don't understand. It's It's... Espresso with natural flavors. It's espresso with other natural flavors. So I'm not seeing coffee in here at all. Milk, sugar, chocolate, cocoa butter, skim milk, lactose, milk, soy, lactane, artificial flavors, peanuts, corn syrup, sugar, palm oil, skim milk, lactose, salt, egg whites, natural. And yeah, there, there, it doesn't say coffee, but it says espresso with other natural flavors. I, I, I'm bothered already about this, man. I'm going to be honest. All right, let's, uh, oh, we also have the regular Snickers, just to kind of get a comparison. Let's start with the, I'll start from where I think uh, they'll be the best. So we're going to label them in this order. Higher. We're gonna go just hypothesis is that it's gonna be something like this it's gonna go the regular Snickers saucy and sweet because that's easy to pull off uh, espresso espresso and fiery so these aren't named Snickers these are called Snickers indecisive saucy and sweet because they can't make up decisions Make up your mind, indecisive. You so silly. Sorry. Uh, irritable espresso, because that's me. And wimpy fiery. I'm sorry, you can't name it wimpy and then name it fiery. Like, there's something about wimpy fiery that just throws me off. And since it is at the bottom, we're going to start there. Honestly, I do kind of want to put switch espresso and salty and sweet, but I know that's going to be better than this one because this is easier to pull off, especially since, especially since you have no actual coffee in here or espresso, and it says as espresso, but when you read the instruct the uh, ingredients list, yeah. kind of hoping that just focuses on its own.
There's no instructions. Let's go with fiery. All right. It's gonna pop this bad boy right open. It's gonna do like I do every other snicker. Open it, snap in, and right, spin in the freezer. I have a snicker everywhere, man. Chill with other natural flavors. Um, there is chili in here. Oh, okay. I know I'm getting the chili flavor. I really am. But when they call it limpy, fiery, limpy, fiery, yeah, they call it that for a reason. It is wimpy. It's just like a hint of chili. Not, not any real heat going on in here. Like, I keep eating it. I'm probably gonna finish every one of these bars because they're Snickers. I don't have favorite candy bar, but it's chocolate. It's semi-decent chocolate and decent caramel. It's okay, nougat. Not that I love peanuts because I really don't care for peanuts, but I mean, as far as bars go, it's all right. I don't think anybody would be like, oh my gosh, that steak is so spicy. That, that's the point, but still. Like, it's why I'm here. Time for espresso. And if you aren't pretentious, you wouldn't know that it's not espresso, it's espresso. Or espresso. Okay, I'll bet. Oh, oh, oh. Strong coffee smell. It's like they listened to my words and they pulled it through. I mean, there's still no coffee in here, but. Oh. You can smell the coffee. I just touched it to my nose. That's embarrassing. Let's go. I can try it. They all look like. You're a regular snicker. But man. It does taste like. It does have. Espresso flavor. Which they put actual espresso. In there like. If they like mix the caramel. With some of the espresso. Or something. Or mix the chocolate with espresso. And that way you get. Every bite. And it is good. I'm not going to front. Well. And I'll probably buy this bar. This is one of those voting things. No, it's not. They're just new bars for the summer, I guess. Uh, there's no caffeine here. So it honestly is all just in flavor. Whoa, partially produced with genetic engineering. Is that on a regular Snicker bar? I didn't know that. So, not seeing it here. Yeah, yeah, here. They all say it. Partially produced with generic, genetic engineering. Uh, so that's basically partially GMO. Which is, isn't great. I mean, it's not bad, but it's just not preferred. You know what I'm saying? This is easy. Sugar, salt. Get the rinse. Gotta stay hydrated. You know, so far, they are playing it really, really safe. Like, just just the taste of coffee and the smell of coffee. So you get that espresso, and it's not coffee, it's espresso flavor. That kind of basic flavor when you sip an espresso, or more of like if you sip an Americano than an espresso. Uh, or 
if you like eat an espresso, chocolate covered espresso bean, um, almost like a really light flavor around that, but not as good chocolate. So I'll I'll say, not bad, salty sweet. Let's go. Finally, there's some salt in there. I can taste the salt. I can feel the salt. It's kind of there. There's a balance to the sweetness of the Snickers that makes me like this better than the regular. Like, it's good. It's salty. It's sweet. It's tasty. I'm not going to hate on it. It tastes like, honestly, oh my gosh, my manager is so bad. I'm sorry, y'all. Like a little bit piece right right in here. I'll eat it also. Later, afterwards, whatever. Honestly, I do enjoy this a lot. Maybe better than this. We're gonna find out. But I will say that without going the jump the shark route, they could have just went Salted caramel snicker, and I would have been just as happy. I hope none of y'all saw what just happened there. Finally, I got it. Mm. Alright. I'm just going to try this one just to kind of get a real leveling. I'm pretty sure my original will stand. I want to say, I really like this one. I want to say this is better. Because the, 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 there's a better sweet balance. And this is pretty sweet. And I'm, I'm, I'm leaning this one, but I don't need any extra salt in my life. But I'm leaning that one highly. And I'm not really gonna finish this one, so I'm gonna take a small bite. I just I just need, just to, whatever, move to go. Yeah. Yeah. Sweet, caramel, nougat. Nutty. Sticks all over your mouth. The cheap milk chocolate taste. You have chocolate all over me. Yeah. Um, I will say, if I'm ranking these in a row, I gotta say, sweet and salty goes first. Then regular Snickers, then espresso, and then fiery. You get the coffee here. This one's the basic one. I'm not a large Snickers fan. That's why I'm like this one. It masks some of the like the manness of the chocolate. And then if you haven't known, the Mars Company and the Hershey's Company, over time, have been slowly, little by little, like just kind of cheapening up on the chocolate to save money. And um, especially Hershey's Bar, they just don't taste the same as they did when I was a kid. Just being honest. Um, but this is good. The thing about salty sweet, when you add salt to chocolate and caramel, it, it always seems to work well. Like that is one of the only things that I love about like the nicer chocolates. They throw the salt caramel flow in there often and I love it. And this one, I'm honestly... I'm gonna finish eating this one after I finish the shit, this video. This one was not bad. I'll finish it at some point. I'm probably never gonna eat this one again. This one's, this one's probably, unfortunately, trash. I hate to say it, but I just don't like it. If you're gonna tell me fiery and then tell me wimpy fiery, I should have listened to you. Because this means it's wimpy. It's weak. It's weak sauce, man. It's no good. It just isn't. It's like... Meh. How can I be happy with meh? Like, don't... It just... It, it's garbage. It makes this snicker worse, not better. And if you're making something to make this bar different, like, they're adding a flavor to it, it needs to make it, if not worse, different. Not better, different. Doesn't need to be worse. This is different, but it could be done so much better. 
had they just not cheaped out and used like actual like espresso in, in the process of making it and it, it, it would have had a really nice espresso flavor and taste a little more a little less mild because they did go weak sauce with this one too they played it safe with all of these to be honest and then they used cheaper chocolate on these than they used to and so I really don't love them as I used to but I will say this is better if you have if you see this one if you love Snickers and you like the like the salted caramel chocolate kind of stuff try this bar this one is it this is the Snizz in the slice of sweet and salty Maybe it's just me because that's kind of who I am. I don't know. Try it. I guarantee you, you will like this bar. I'm not trying to say it. I mean, I don't guarantee you anything. But if you like sweet and salty and you like Snickers or you're okay with Snickers and you like sweet and salty, you will more than likely like this bar. I can give you like an 80% chance anyone's going to like this bar. This one should stick around. They should add better chocolate into this one. Don't ever make this crap again. Oh, that almost fell on the floor. Whatever. Just add more espresso. Give it some caffeine bump. Give it some caffeine by just adding espresso. You could add espresso into the chocolate, into the caramel, into the nougat mixture. Just a little bit, just like a little bit in each in each batch. If you could tell me there's like a half a cup of espresso, a half of a half a cup of espresso, not half a cup of espresso, but a half a um, shot of espresso in each one of these. I'm not gonna hate you on it. I'm, I'm gonna be honest. I'm not gonna hate. I'm not gonna hate if you say, "Hey, yo, this has like half a shot of espresso." I'm like, I'm not gonna hate, and the flavor will be better. And that's something you gotta look at for. And that, as well as thank you for watching. Peace, love, fly out. <sighs> to the next time. It's <laughs> August. Stay hydrated. See you next week. Maybe. I'm a lazy fuck, what can I say? Bye!